special laws for a special day, Sunday, all supposedly designed to keep the Sabbath sacred. Like the law in Fredericksburg, Virginia, that says you can't even sit on your own porch and read the paper on Sunday. What you do at home on Sunday is a big deal in New York, too. Hey, no painting the house in Schenectady, New York. And if you live in Passaic, New York, don't fill in those nail holes. That's illegal. And don't even think of mowing the lawn in New York City, like they have a lot of lawns there, or in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, that's right. The Sunday sounds you make could be a problem. No whistling near a church in Maine and no humming in Cicero, Illinois. Playing hooky from church may not be illegal, but a bunch of other games are, like playing marbles on Sunday in Charleston, Rhode Island. <laughs> no playing dominoes in Alabama. And no yo-yoing in Memphis, Tennessee. Ooh, thank you. Thank you very much. Food seems to be a big deal. No eating candy within an hour and a half of church in Salem, West Virginia. And I'm breaking the law right now in Kansas. No eating ice cream on Sunday. And I can't believe this was ever a big problem anyway, but if you see a rattlesnake slithering through the grass in Kansas, don't eat it. That's still against the law on Sundays there. And I don't know about you, but if I can't eat a snake on Sunday, I might as well be in church. I don't know if these wacky laws actually promote respect for Sunday or not, and they won't give you the legal edge, but they are still kind of fun. I'm attorney Michael James Bryant.